Hi, this is Gabe Romero and Mike Costa of Man Packing. We're here today to give you September's field report. Mike, it's early, there's no fog, we got sunshine, it's a little warm right now. What's been going on with the weather? You know, you look at the last week, 10 days, the nighttime temperatures had some humidity to them. Um, so we'll see what that means come October on iceberg lettuce, if it means we'll have some lightweight with cedar cores or not. But daytime temperatures, We've had some warm weather, but not too extreme. So, so far the crop looks good. August finished off strong and all our volumes in September look very good. So we're looking at romaine here today. I mean, moving forward supply-wise, what are we looking on leaf? Yeah, leaf supplies, romaine, green leaf looks steady. Romaine hearts look steady, whole leaf, Arcadian, everything looks steady. This ground here, the tree, it's what we consider upland ground. It grows outstanding romaine. We're up towards the foothills, so a lot of times the winds aren't as extreme. So we like to keep a certain percentage of our romaine and iceberg up this way to help out with wind damage and, and heat extremes. Certainly, and then broccoli and cauliflower. We've had our, our roller coaster ride through the summer, obviously with a rotational crop. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, well, I know on broccoli, there's some disease pressures going on right now, some pin rot, probably from the humid temperatures that we had last week. Cauliflower, when you look at our planning schedules, what we see coming the next eight weeks, we look like we should be dead on schedule with, with our estimated volumes. Now celery, on the other hand, we've had a, you know, for six months it was 70 bucks. Yeah. Now we're looking at, it's been steady supplies and, and a fairly decent market, but I mean, we're really looking towards. Yeah, you know, the celery market, like you said, was good for a long time. It was good because it was bad for a long time. So acres were down, there was issues in some areas. Volumes here for the balance of the Salina season to us look pretty steady. So Mike, when we're talking about quality, obviously with a little bit of heat and humidity, we've seen some tips on the fringe burn. Is it also, is it romaine and, and lettuce to begin with? Uh, more so on romaine, you know, de depending on the variety, some of your heart varieties where you're planting a variety to make a true heart, you may have fringe burn on the outside leaves, you're able to trim it off. On commodity romaine, if you're har harvesting it in a timely manner, everything looks good. A lot of times it's just a matter of making sure you have all your micronutrients in place. We're constantly taking tissue samples on lettuce, we're taking more and more soil samples for you know, what is available nitrogen in the soil and then taking a look at some of your micronutrients, you know, boron, things like that, manganese to make sure you're not short on any of your nutrients. So here in beautiful California, supplies look like they'll be steady through the month of September as well as markets might fluctuate here and there. So from Mike Costa and Gabe Romero Man Packing, we'll see you in the next field report.